Hi guys. It is a spectacularly gorgeous, over the top and beautiful day. Here in the end times in paradise at Bugs in a Jar Farm in the Finger Lakes of New York, baby. It is just an, you know, one of these wet dream days, uh, beautiful days here on the planet. That would be Sunday, August 27th. So, uh, as you guys know, I am two months from pulling out of here, trying to figure out what I am doing with myself for six months. And uh, so something new has come along, and I'm just looking for advice. Okay, I, I, I want to hear you guys' honest opinion, so I want to send out a, a big, big thank you to my uh, good buddy and lieutenant here on Humpty Dumpty Tribe, Brother Aaron, down there in, uh, in Central Florida. Uh, Aaron... Uh, has this rental property, which is, you know, it's, it, it's, it's very basic housing. It's a, uh, it's a mobile home on a real pretty lot at the very end of a dead-end road. It is one block from the uh, canoe and kayak launch onto the Withlacoochee River. It is about a 15-minute drive to the uh, property that I own down there in Florida, uh, in the little town of Inglis, Florida. And I need to get down there and, and you know, and work on that property. And it's about a 15-minute drive from there. Uh, it's in this very pleasant little town called Dunellen. Uh, plenty of good restaurants and uh, watering holes. There are a hell of a lot worse choices that I could make. And it is, you know, obviously my head is saying, Hambone, you can't turn down uh, this offer from the universe. He is being more than fair on uh, what, what he's asking me to stay there. So I would be there, you know, from, you know, about the middle of November until early April uh, before heading back here. I wouldn't have to drag this this damn camper all around with me and spend all of that extra gas and worrying about my uh, axle falling off and all of that. Uh, so from a thinking with my head uh, it, it's the obvious choice. Uh, I mean, the, the other choices I have, I'm giving the universe till September 15th to come up with something better. Uh, but, you know, my, my number one concern is, as uh, I'm talking about with, with Aaron, is the... You know, the do as I say, not as I do, that the, if, if, if I had to look back in my own history, uh, and especially with my history in real estate, uh, hearing other horror stories, is the best way to destroy a friendship is to get involved in any sort of a real estate deal with friends. Uh, it, it, <laughs> any friendship 
that can survive a real estate deal with the friendship and intact uh, and uh, so the the best uh, you know you you have got to have rock solid communication between the two of you you uh, you need to have honest upfront communication about what the terms and conditions of the arrangement are uh, it, it is you know what happens as, as even happened just uh, recently with my friend right down the street uh, involving uh, these tiny houses a few weeks ago. I honestly don't know, uh, since the man has not spoken to me uh, in three weeks, whether my uh, friendship with my buddy right down the street was destroyed in two nights trying uh, you know, just to work out a deal, a win-win-win situation for everybody uh, turned into a lose-lose-lose situation for everybody. Uh, all we were all trying to do is help each other out, and now all three of us got fucked out of this deal. Uh, and, and I honestly do not know if, if another friendship uh, was ruined. It, it, it's just unbelievable how uh, real estate uh, can destroy a friendship. You know, this uh, place that I own in Florida, uh, I own... You know, I, I went in with a friend, with my best friend on the planet, you know, my, my Trump uh, voting friend in Texas. Now, she and I uh, have done several real estate deals together already, and they've all turned out very well. So uh, it can happen. Uh, but, you know, you don't want to put in writing with a, you know, with a friend before you enter. A, now, obviously, if it's a real estate purchase agreement where you jointly co-own a piece of real estate, obviously, uh, you, you got to have that in writing. Uh, but anyway, guys, so uh, I have on the table a, a perfectly nice, reasonable, easy... Uh, five months in Florida uh, available to me, uh, which, which has all sorts of advantages. As I told Aaron, uh, you know, the one of the few things making me head back to Mexico is I want to, uh, I need to get some dental work. I need to get that this goddamn hernia operation. I need to uh, get some, uh, you know, prescription uh, eyeglasses and whatnot. Uh, so I still, I told Aaron, I might in January or February have to head off to Chetamal, Mexico for a few weeks to get all that taken care of. But, you know, that's a three-hour flight from Tampa. So anyway, guys, what do you think? Do I... And so, you know, none of these choices are a follow your heart. I, I, I don't have 
a follow your heart, follow your head choice. Um, it's just, since I don't have a follow my heart's choice, I just have to choose following my head. So, does Hambone take the offer from the universe uh, that Brother Aaron is so selflessly offering, or uh, do I wait for something better to come along? Uh, let me know what you think, and uh, I will make up my mind in the next three weeks. Get out there and avoid dealing, making real estate deals with friends while you still can. Uh, I gotta crank up my planet saving electric lawnmower. Get out there and get her done while I still can. Bye, guys.